Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to talk about the grill on an Audi S3. It's probably the most asked question on these cars so I'm going to tell you which ones to get and a few little guidelines as well. So let's get straight into it. So like I say in the intro, this is probably the most commonly asked question for these cars. Um, normally with these cars they come with a sort of cross hatch grill. Um, this is a facelift model so I opted for the honeycomb grill which you can only get on the facelift model which is anything from a 2008 to 2012. So the honeycomb grill that I opted for is somewhere, it's from somewhere called GBT Auto Styling on eBay. Uh, these cost about £165 delivered. Now they come with the gloss black rings on there and it does come with an RS3 badge normally um, but I took that off obviously it's an S3 I'm not going to try and hide it with something else. Um, so this is an S3 badge off a stock grill um, that normally clips in so in the back of it I've kind of drilled a couple of holes through the top of it and then made a template on the back and attached it that way. Um, also when you're changing the grill it's worth mentioning that you do need to paint the crash bar as well otherwise you've got like a silver stainless aluminium crash bar which just looks rubbish otherwise um, but then you're also kind of left with the predicament then is where you're going to put your number plate so I've got sort of a cheap version of a twist and fix so you see these twist out quite easily and I put some o-rings on the back of there just to kind of space it out a little bit and then the number plate quite easily clips on there I've also opted as well for a side number plate as well which doesn't always look as good I mean when you're taking photos and things like that um, just looks a bit better if you can just take it off um, the other thing to mention as well is the parking sensors now this one it does come with a sort of brackets I suppose if you like to actually attach them but if you look at the height of the stock parking sensors it should be around here now the problem is they're quite low on this so the car's lowered as well so I tend to find out that the parking sensors on the front don't actually work, they just kind of beep all the time, so quite frustrating, I probably need to sort of take this moulding out and then move it up a little bit higher and sort of glue it in place I guess. Um, so yeah, that's something we've got planned in the future. But yeah, like I say, this was from GBT Auto Styling, looks a hell of a lot better and just modernises that front end, if I just sort of back away now you'll be able to see. So in terms of insulation, it probably takes about an hour to two hours to do it, you've got to take the bumper off take the old grill out through the back of the bumper um, and then like I say you've got, to, you've got to spray paint the crash bar behind it as well so there's a few pipes that you've got to disconnect and things like that and just sort of tidy it whilst you're doing it it probably takes about two hours in total just to kind of get the job done properly so so that's it for today's video if you have enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button as well we're kind of getting close now to a thousand subscribers we're around the 700 mark so a little bit closer than the last video so make sure you do hit that subscribe button it is really important Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.